Hi, I'm Bob Daly, and this is Gulf Coast Gardening with Nature's Way Resources. What is this? This is a beautiful plant, but it's got some big thorns on it. <laughs> yes, well, this is not one that I'd want to run into. First time I ever saw it was on a fence side, on, along a fence uh, in the spring, and I was told that uh, the birds had landed on the fence, pooped, and that's the reason why they were going along the fence. But anyways, as you see, the thorns are very sharp. It's called Devil's Walking Stick, and uh, it's, the genus is Aurelia. And it does kind of walk. You all see one over here, there's one over there, and then one over here. And, that, and they die back in the winter time, usually. And then they come back in the spring and they go very, very fast before they flower and go to seed. But uh, uh, certainly one that would deter me if I were uh, a little critter. I would think twice. Uh, so it helps. And see, at one time, because so many of the hunters uh, the predators are gone and if you have deer in your area um, deer can really take a, a number toll on a lot of plants. This is one plant that, that would probably wouldn't have a problem because of the thorns. Although deer have been known to eat roses with thorns too. I know what this plant is. It looks very familiar. It's a pawpaw, right? Correct. A simia trilobata and uh, I originally saw this in the big thicket uh, in an opening in the woods and it had uh, fruit on it and I collected one of the fruits and voila uh, there was a bigger plant here well, probably about four or six feet but it finally died away this was like about 30 years ago and obviously we have a little seedling that's coming along and uh, the, the fruits are supposedly uh, very, very desired by some of the mammals out there I heard that the fruit was one of George Washington's favorite desserts. Really? That's what I heard, yeah. Oh, my. And they, this used to grow all over the place out here, but it's not growing anymore. Right, right. After they clear cut, I think. Yes, I know. It, it's not an aggressive plant like uh, arrowwood or beautyberry. You cut it down, it'll spr sprout out. This, you know, is you have to treat it a little bit more gently. Right, and it'll get pretty big. Yes, it'll get pretty big, yes, yes good for a lot of different mammals and stuff. This is a uh, scarlet buckeye. Uh, it has beautiful uh, scarlet flowers in the spring. It's already flowered. As you see, some of the ins uh, worms uh, are enjoying it. And I remember coming through here once, and it wasn't this particular spot, but it was up in one of the trees. There was a huge uh, web worm colony. And I kept thinking, you know, I need to do something about that. You know, I need to cut them down. I need to cut them down. Well, one day I was walking by and I saw movement and it was a cuckoo bird that was eating the worms. I learned my lesson really good that day. Uh, just about everything can be food for something or someone if you give it an opportunity. That's interesting, yes. But Scarlet Buckeye is a... Uh, uh, slow growing plant. This is probably about 20 years old, this plant. It won't get much higher than this. No, no. It's a beautiful plant. Thank you, thank you. How about this plant? This is Ethrina herbacea, coral bean. As you see, the flowers are just about gone. Uh, they're coral. The uh, hummingbirds come to the flowers quite readily. And now the seed pods, as you see, they'll eventually turn a darker green and the it'll split open and turn brown and then you'll see red beans in there and supposedly they are poisonous i've uh i was told that they could kill a dog if he eat two or three beans um, you haven't tried it no 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 I, I find that that's the most beautiful part of the plant when the, when the seed pods open and those scarlet beans uh, show out well it behind. looks very handsome in a floral arrangement ah i bet it does yeah this is Eastern Redbud Tree, and there was uh, one that was originally here that was quite old and quite big, and this is a seedling that has popped up. Uh, the flowers have already flowered uh, on the redbuds that have bloomed. Uh, they're a beautiful 
I'd say pinkish red. Uh -huh. And uh, the flowers are edible, although I have not tried any. It's a fairly fast growing tree. Uh, I remember I plant, plant, uh, put one in Conroe. It was only a five gallon. And in three years, it was uh, already six feet tall. Ooh. Very, very fast growing plant. And it's an understory tree as well. It is understory, but it does do well in full sun. Oh, does it? Yes, okay. if it's taken care of. Okay. And uh, something interesting I, I found about this, the flowers appear before the li it leaves out. Correct, right. So it makes it even more showy. Just like the French tree, the French tree does the same thing. You'll have all these flowers before the leaves pop out. And then after the flowers start to decline, then the leaves will start to, show, start to uh, pop out. And I have to admit, that just really um, makes, makes it ever so many um, eye-popping. Beautiful plant. Circus canadensis. Let's move on. Yeah. This looks like a, some kind of nut tree. You're right, I know. It's a walnut tree. It was uh, given to me as a little seedling, about uh, a foot tall. And it's been in the ground for probably probably 20 to 25 years. So as you see, slow, growing. slow grower. In fact, it's grown the most it has uh, in the last year. When will it start producing uh, walnuts? <laughs> or hickory nuts, excuse me. Uh, wal walnuts. Well, well, walnuts, it's walnut. Right, it's gonna be a while. Uh, it's probably gonna have to get to a lot, lot more sun. But uh, uh, I wanted it some place where I felt that it would be protected, so I put it here. And, uh, uh, I really enjoy it. My husband is a uh, likes to do carpentry on the side, and he's been eyeing. And I said, No, no, no. Uh, no. He wants the wood. No, no yeah. wood product. Yeah. Uh. Right, right. Because that makes fabulous uh, uh, projects. Uh, now, you know, this is a kind of a more eastern Texas tree, native to a little more, a little east of us, right? Correct. Right, right. But uh, but it I grows understand. well here. Yes, so far, right. Like I said, I, I was unsure because the first five, six years, you know, it barely grew at all. It right. kind of just sat there. And now it's shooting up. Right. Taking Great. time to put its roots in. And that's what you have to understand when you're gardening that, and uh, landscaping, is some plants are extremely fast growing. Some are very slow. And what you want to do is, if you wanting to put in some plants that are going to be very slow growing, maybe put in a few things that are fast growing, that way you still have a look that uh, satisfies you and the neighbors, but gives a chance for the slower growing things to take hold, to grow their roots, and establish themselves before they shoot up. Diane, I want to thank you very much for this. This has been an educational and interesting tour, and uh, I want to thank you for all the work you're, do you're doing with uh, propagating native plants and finding native plants because I know you found a lot of them and they're, they're really gorgeous. So thank you very much. You're welcome. This is Gulf Coast Gardening. Stay tuned for more with Nature's Way Resources. And remember, you can come out to Nature's Way Resources for all your gardening and plant needs.